Everybody, so what you just saw there was me playing a version of Leather Bridges that I learned from Molly Tuttle on a Carter Vintage uh, guitar demonstration. She's playing an old D45. That uh, that guitar sounds amazing, by the way. It's one of my favorite videos. And uh, yeah, she does this uh, killer version of Leather Bridges by herself, and I wanted to learn it, so I figured as I learned it, uh, I would make a video on it. So here it is. So if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll notice that the organization of a lesson is generally the same. Uh, you have a performance of the song up front, and then I slow it down, and I go lick by lick, and I put the tab right here in that corner of the screen. Uh, so you can practice it lick by lick, and it'll be nice and slow, and you can see exactly what I'm doing, and in uh, our case, well, what Molly's doing, my estimation of what Molly's doing. So, hope this helps, and we'll get into the tab right now. Also, uh, some of my other videos, I do put the uh, chord diagrams up there and uh, explain the chords if they're more difficult. However, uh, you know, this is a really common traditional song, Leather Britches, so it's just a 1-4-5 progression. Um, Molly, in this version, doesn't really do anything that hints at the four chords, so... You know, uh, there's that, but uh, yeah, you can look it up. It's just uh, G, C, and D. All right, so we're going to go over the tab here, and I'm going to play it slowly so you can follow along, and uh, we'll do it section by section. So this is going to be the first section. Here's the second section. Here's the third section where she does the little paw flick. And you want to make sure that that last note is going to be with your ring finger because you're going to uh, go right back into that G shape. Here's the next section. section. And in this section she does a little bluesy pull off and slide. Okay, so in this section she doesn't actually hit the bass string first like the others. The... Okay, so coming in from the last lick. And then she'll go. And then another one of those pull off licks. to 
through and on your ring finger again. Okay, so the last section starts like the very first section. It'll go like this. And then it'll do this. And then another one of those pull-off licks, except this time we're going to end on uh, the G note, our, uh, our root note, instead of the D or the fifth there. And that's it for the A part, so we'll go on to the B part. Okay, here's the B part, and here's the first part. And here's the next part. pull-offs again. And then it'll do the same thing again. And then we're going to go to this kind of slide down the scale thing. So. And so that whole thing just repeats, and that's the B part. So uh, the only thing that would be different, uh, or that we should take note of, is how to enter back into you know playing the A part again or ending the song. So to enter back into the A part, you could do this. Just kind of slide back in. And to end the song, you could do this. Okay, and there you have it. Uh, that's a whole song, lick by lick. Slow down, and you could go back to the beginning and watch it up to speed and use YouTube's uh, handy speed adjustment if you need to. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Hope it was clear, and you're playing leather britches like Molly Tuttle.